Welcome to our channel NKC Insight. Quit India Movement Day is observed as commemorate the important movement in the freedom struggle. Today is marking a 78th anniversary of the Quit India Movement. The day is also celebrated as August Kranti Din every year. The aim of the day is paying tribute to freedom fighters with national integration speeches and other events. Quit India Movement was launched at the Bombay session of the All India Congress Committee by Mahatma Gandhi in 1942 during World War II. The Quit India Movement also known as India August Movement or Bharat Chodo Andolan. After failure of Crips mission in 1942, within four months, the third great mass struggle of the Indian people for freedom started. The session begins on the August 7 and concluded post-midnight of August 8, 1942 at Gwalia Tank Maiden, Bombay. The All India Congress Committee launched the mass protest demanding an orderly British withdrawal from India. The prime significance of the movement is the decentralized command. The main intention of this resolution was minor amendments and a non-violent mass struggle. The first half of the movement was peaceful with demonstrations and processions. The second half of the movement was violent. During this movement, the British government declared the Indian National Congress INC, to be an unlawful association. More than 1,000 people were arrested, and the government resorted to violence in order to crush the agitation. Also, several national leaders like Mahatma Gandhi, Abdul Kalam Azad, Jawaharlal Nehru, and Sardar Vallabhai Patel were arrested. By the end of 1942, about 60,000 people had been jailed and hundreds were killed. Among those were many young children and old women. The Council of Muslims, Communist Party and Americans supported Britishers. The quit movement speech made by Mahatma Gandhi, British leave India, do or die, karo ya maro, slogan infusing a life of its own among the masses. The world was in World War II, the Quit India movement gained global support due to India's participation in the word war on behalf of the British Army. American, President Franklin D. Roosevelt put extreme pressure on Prime Minister Winston Churchill to agree to some of the Indian demands. As the British government realized that, it would be impossible to keep India under its reins in the long time due to the cost of World War II. After this movement, the British government is seriously thinking about the issue of Indian independence after seeing the upsurge among the masses. Finally, after the conclusion of World War II in September, India gained freedom on the 15th of August 1947. Thanks for watching this video. Follow us in Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter by clicking the below link mentioned in the description of our channel. Also subscribe our channel for more videos.